Piaget's theory states that we go through four developmental stages. Those stages are the sensory motor stage where we develop object permanence um, and this stage happens between the year up to like two years old and then we go into the pre-operational stage and I believe that is from two to seven in that in that stage we develop a theory of mind where we are able to see and react to how others are feeling and understand that um, and then the next phase is the concrete op operational phase and this is where we develop um, a grasp of conservation um, of where like if we were to pour liquid from one container into another one of a different shape it's still the same amount instead of it being less or more um, and then the last one is the formal operational stage and this typically goes from this age from age 11 through adulthood um, and this is where we can actually use like abstract logic and where we can develop more re like logical thoughts and more reasoning behind those thoughts and our actions um, and that that typically ha as I said that typically happens from the time we're 12 all the way through adulthood um, this has uh, been tested a couple of these um, throughout times and throughout well over time since 1907 when Piaget actually started his experiments after ob observing children and seeing a sort of intelligence behind their actions um, which was different from the view that science and society had on the way children acted and behaved and stuff up until this point. Um, and, and throughout this period of time since its discovery, these results from these tests have been consistent. Um, if you have some a child, a young infant, and you take something out of you, it's like it was never there. A few months later, it, um, if you take the same, if you have the same child, and have another object that is, that they are interested in, and you cover it with something, or you put it out of sight, instead of it being almost as if it was never there, they will actually start to look for it at this point. Um, and then with conservation, at, they would, they have tested this in particular by having young children um, come and sit down with two glasses in front of them, one with liquid, one without, and then pouring the one with liquid into the other. And at the, and one of them would be taller, and so they would say, to start, this has more, that the taller glass has more liquid, or water, or whatever they put in it. And then, later on, um, they would, at a different time, later point, they would do the same experiment with the same kids, and their responses would be, it's the same. Um, so Piaget's theory has definitely uh, stood the test of time. Um, and yeah.